Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dr. Joe, how are you, sir? I am doing good, Dr. Dave. Uh, another day that we're here to do what we love to do, so I am feeling great. Most excellent, most excellent. <laughs> We'd like to welcome our viewers and listeners to another episode of the Journeys of Not So Ordinary People podcast, where you, yes, you, are important too. <laughs> so um, today's topic is going to be remembering where you came from. And okay. for some of us, that can be a challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for others, it's just like it was yesterday. So uh, yeah. as per our normal uh, forum template uh, there, Dr. Joe, uh, what are your thoughts on, well, if you can have thoughts on remembering, or if you can't remember <laughs> where you came from? You know, Dave, that, that's really good. Uh, good topic, I meant. Uh, yeah, I was kind of sidetracked, but a good topic because, you know, again, me and you both have gone, you know, taken our journeys uh, and far removed us to a certain extent from mm -hmm. far from where we were or where yeah. we started from. So when you talk about remembering where you came from, it, that is, you said it, it's a challenge uh, at the same time um it's it's also a big reflection mm -hmm. uh, for me like i say so and i probably mentioned this many times in previous episodes but but the idea that you know i made it all the way to the uh, an education side anyway to a doctor just would have never imagined that mm -hmm. i'd be a doctor sitting here in front of you yeah and i was reminded of that often uh, as i mentioned before my mom had dementia you know later in life and so every time i came over and and saw her it was like her seeing me for the first time mm. over and over again and so some of the yeah. discussions we would have would be along that line you know for a couple of things that i'll always remember that she kept saying to me over and over again was you know be true to yourself and then the other one was remember where you came from mm -hmm. and not that I haven't had a problem with that or struggle with that, but she, she was absolutely correct. Um, that's what made me who I am. That that's, even though I became a doctor uh, with humble beginnings, I know that's how I got there uh, mm -hmm. without that journey that I had to take uh, at a young age and throughout my life, I would not be where I am today. But I also uh, want to caution uh, even myself or others that, that, you know, want to remember where you came from, we don't want to do it at a detriment. Mm -hmm. and, and what I mean by that is, you know, and I've said this on previous episodes as well, I often refer to myself as the average Joe or an average Joe. Ironically, my name is Joe. Um, so it, it fits easy, but even as a doctor, even as an author, even as you know, business owner, even as all these things I've accomplished over the years, I still refer to myself as Joe or the average Joe, which, you know, again, I'm remembering where I came from, but I'm not necessarily that same person anymore. Right. So to right. constantly remind myself uh, that I'm just Joe is, is is a detriment to myself and, and minimizing the accomplishments that, that I've achieved, you know, throughout mm -hmm. my career and my life. So I do remember exactly where I came from. I know, you know, that I, like I said, I had humble beginnings, a, a family that loved me, but um, didn't have all the support or resources that other people had. And not that mm -hmm. I'm comparing myself, but I know, uh, you know, I had days that didn't know where we were, you know, what it was going to look like the next day. I had yeah. those type of days. So I, I remember exactly where I came from. But like I say, I did it, uh, in, in my own opinion, I did it to a detriment to myself by not allowing me to now be who I am. Mm -hmm. And not that I'm, you know, now that I want, and I've said this before too, I don't want to kick in the door and say, I'm Dr. Hamlet, respect me because I'm Dr. Hamlet or right. uh, adjunct professor Hamlet or any of that. It's just the fact that I have achieved a lot of things and, and this has really come full circle for me. So for, you know, like the last six months, I've really been, uh, when I introduced myself, I am Dr. Hamlet in, in most circles now. And, mm -hmm. and in the past, I, I wasn't introducing myself that way. And, and so now I am just because even though I'm remembering, I'm remembering who I am, I've changed since then. 
I, yeah. I am a different person. Not that I'm now uh, separating myself from who I was, but I have, I, and I have to acknowledge those things that I've accomplished because if I don't do it, no one else will. Right. And like I say, why would I go through school for nine years? Why would I spend so many years in the military just to silence those things that I've accomplished or, you know, or diminish them. <clears throat> or, yeah. Or diminish them. Yeah. So that, that's why I say, cause even, you know, we've talked about telling your story. When I tell my story, I tell people about those things because mm -hmm. again, if, if people want a comparison or, or want to look at someone that, that maybe they, you know, aspire to be one day, I could be that person. And if I don't tell my story and show that beginning from where I started, um, then it, then it doesn't make sense. Cause oftentimes we only see the end result, the right. success that people have had, and they haven't seen the struggles along the way. Right. And they so, see where you are now, not where right. you came from and what not, your journey and, and is they, like. they can't <clears throat> relate to any of that yeah. because you haven't told them. And that's why I say, um, that's why I know exactly where I came from. I can, I can remember those things because it was a journey for me to get here. And, and now, like I say, I was doing myself a huge disservice by not telling my story from start to finish. Uh, and again, not to try and walk through the door and kick it down and say, respect me because I'm Dr. Hamlet, but no, if you hear my story, you'll see the significance of it. And I think mm -hmm. that's why, you know, I enjoy telling my story. I think it's important. So people can relate to that because we were, uh, me and Dave both were, like I said, we started humble beginnings. Yeah. We didn't know we were going to be doctors. We didn't know we were going to be any of these things. But now again, if someone's out there listening or watching this podcast, they'll know that, yes, I, again, started maybe similar to where you are, where you uh, were or where you are today or where you might be mm -hmm. so just knowing that to go from where i was then to where who i am now it is an important important part of that so yeah that's and, why that's what i think of when i think of remembering who you are i'll always remember who i am but now it's just how i present myself yeah uh, that, that's the difference and you brought up a lot of important points, Joe, and I think it's important for the audience to know, um, for the listeners, the viewers can see the obvious visual. We are, right. we are not the same ethnicity. Um, we're, we're close in age, but not the same age. We, but we have had similar experiences. And the reason I bring that up is because I don't want this to be, I don't want our viewers to think, oh, it's because you're a certain this or you're a certain that. Right, right. It, it doesn't matter. What we're talking about transcends ethnicity, culture, geographic location. This is about remembering and respecting where you are now because of where you started right, and the right. changes and the growth and the decisions and the consequences and the benefits that have occurred throughout your life to get you where you are today. And you may or may not be where you want to be, but that's also based upon where you've come from and where you and and that's that's the important piece have you are you satisfied where you are now in comparison to where you started out and that's right, a little bit right. gets into a little bit and we're not going to go down that path a lot but that gets into not comparing yourself to others by definition of success right because you don't know what their journey was and what their path was you have to understand yeah your level of success based upon where you started out. And we all start out at, in different places or tip somewhat different places. And sometimes right. it's the same, but it's important to keep that in mind because all of that, all those experiences and your journey has brought you to where you are today. And if you don't like where you are today, then that's good that you're aware of that. Right. And the follow-up, question that we would have to use what are you doing to change that but you have to remember and appreciate all the positive and all the negative experiences that you've had because they make up who you are today it's how it's how you allow those things to positively and positively affect you or um, allow for those challenges to still be there and affect you right. um, so you know, having having that understanding and having that reality and thinking about it and reflecting on it and remembering where you came from can actually help you to appreciate more where you are today. Because even though you may not be where you have always dreamed, that astronaut on Mars, right? you've come a long way. 
Right. You know, you have come a long way. You've made it X number of years. Some people don't get that opportunity right, or benefit. Right, right. So make the most of it and appreciate all those things. I mean, you can dwell, this is personal choice. You can dwell upon all the bad things that have happened to you and have your pity party and feel victimized. Or you can use those experiences to push and propel you closer or to the point to where you want to be you know i tell my students you can use that negative energy and that fear of failure for good or for bad you can use it to bring you down and you're still messing up your assignments or you can turn that negative energy into positive energy to help you succeed so and that and that's that's an important perspective Dave, you bring up a very good point in, in which I struggle with, you know, along my journey is, is looking at where you were mm-hmm. and even where you are today. And, and, and again, looking at all those um, things that you've done in that time frame. And, and again, mm-hmm. prior to me becoming a doctor and, and other things, just looking at how far you've come from, like, yeah. like we said, that humble beginning yeah. into even where you were at that time. For me, even before I started school, I I had, you know, accomplished a lot of things. I, I'd done a lot of things and moving forward. Mm-hmm. So I think we do a lot of times we set a goal for ourselves or we look so far beyond where we are that we forget to celebrate you know the the success we've had to that point to, mm-hmm. to you know even like me and I, I mentioned this before my dad didn't have a high school uh education he had you know finished after freshman year he, he dropped out to go work uh to support the family because mm-hmm. he was you know the one of the oldest kids in the family so you know for me to even earn my high school diploma i had already you know gone beyond where he was able to go so not even you know thinking that that was and I knew it was important, but sometimes uh, even those things like that, where we move beyond where, like our parents have that, that, you know, we don't even look at that as a, as a huge accomplishment, but, Mm -hmm. but in our, you know, in our eyes, uh, we still may be reaching for something beyond that. But the reality Mm -hmm. is that was a huge milestone for me. And so, like I said, initially I would have never imagined or looked at those things as being, um, very significant, but they were because mm-hmm. they led me to the path of again, eventually being a doctor. So yeah. again, remembering and putting that in perspective of, of where I was at that time, I, I didn't really see that as important at that time. But then even as I was going through my journey of, you know, getting to my doctor level, I, I still didn't take time to celebrate those advancements I was making throughout my career and education mm-hmm. journey, even the family, all those things, I was really not taking advantage of really reflecting on, wow, this is powerful. Look at where me, my family, you know, have made it to. I, I didn't yeah. really see that as, as huge as, as I do now. I, I yeah. recognize that now. And and when we say, remember, remember where you came from, it's not just, oh yeah, I came from humble beginnings or yeah, I lived in this city and state, or I grew up in that house. What we're talking about is really sitting down and having, it, and really digging deep into where you came from and understanding it, putting yourself where you were, good times and bad times, and mm-hmm. remembering that, really re- remembering those rich experiences. Because if you don't, it's it's just you're kind of glossing over it, and mm-hmm. you're missing out on the opportunity to appreciate the growth that you've experienced. And the reason mm-hmm. that that is important is because if we just start glossing over it, yeah, I grew up with humble beginnings. Yeah, it wasn't the best child. Oh, I did poorly in high school. You diminish those experiences because our experiences that we have can be used to help others who are in the same or similar positions or who want to avoid those positions. And if we forget where we came from or gloss over them, they lose the importance, the richness, the clarity of those experiences that we can pass on to help others learn from. So they don't take the proverbial long, painful, scenic route that Joe and I have taken, as we've mentioned so many times. So you know, it's it's not about bragging or self-deprivation. It's about remembering those experiences and really acknowledging to ourselves wh- how much we've really, truly accomplished. Because, you know, you can 
have certain gifts or benefits because you grew up a certain way that maybe you were more privileged or had more opportunities or more financial or educational security or, or stability in your family environment that many people don't have those opportunities. And those, those become challenges that have become that, that people have overcome. And that's what we're trying to capture is that richness. And, and Dave, you brought up a very good point. Uh, you highlighted the fact that uh, that remembrance is, is for your benefit, yeah. and not necessarily yeah. anyone else's. And I think that was where I was hung up mm -hmm. is that I had to show people that, you know, I came from this and now. Yeah, it's not it. about proving yourself. Right. And, and, I, and I think that's where I struggle. And, and, mm -hmm. but, but you're right that we have to do it for ourselves. And, and yes, that, until I learned that. Yeah. Um, that's why we struggled. both learned that <laughs> right and, and that's why i say that's why my my thought was always initially was i'm going to come in and kick down the door and say look at me i'm dr hamlet and it mm -hmm. wasn't until i looked at it differently as you know it's important like you said for people to hear where you started and 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 not just to say hey look at me but to say hey i did it you can do it you know yeah. uh, the, hopefully this can help you like yeah. you just said we we that's what we talk about helping you uh so that you may not have to go take that long scenic route uh, yeah. again providing information for you that may assist you and that that's yeah. what this is all about yeah again, it's, it's not about it's not about self-entitlement or anything like that no it's no. It's, it, it's it's remembering it's remembering for yourself so that you can appreciate right. all the Absolutely. work that yep. you've done because something that might be small and insignificant to many or most other people may have been a huge step. And I love, Absolutely. Absolutely. I love the example uh, that's been online for many years to where, you know, wow, I wish I had that jet airplane. And the person that's right. the, behind you is like, wow, I wish that I had that car. And you're, right. you know, you're like, well, I hate my job. And one, the next person's like, wow, I really wish I had a job. Right. Right. You know, it's about putting things into perspective and, and not taking things for granted or being too hard on yourself because you're not meeting someone else's definition of success. Absolutely. And that was actually what I was just, I was trying to, I was going to get out, but I wanted to hear where, where you're going, but it, it's about seeing it through your own lens, right? your Absolutely. own perspective of what's important and, and the achievements that you made. Yeah. That's why I say I could tell my story to somebody and they're like, oh, that's not a big deal, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying yeah. to wow you or, you know, anything like that or impress you. I'm just trying to tell you, from my lens, this is where I started and this is where I am today. And, and yeah. I think that's the important piece for me. Uh, again, is that that's the way, that's why, again, I, I really still refer to myself as just Joe because yeah. I, I didn't really take stock and really appreciating my journey and, and everything mm -hmm. that I've achieved because I allowed someone else's version or someone else's, well, they, they, they had it worse than me. So yeah. my thing is not as big a deal. Yeah. And that's not the case. Every one of our, and we, we had just had a topic that, you know, one of our previous topics was embrace your uniqueness. Yeah. And that's what this is about is yeah. embracing your own journey, who yeah. you are. It doesn't are, matter if someone started. else took them two years to get to the exact same place. Absolutely. It, it's And it took still, you 10 or 20 years. Absolutely. The fact is you got there and you have that experience and those, those joys and woes that that have made you who you are as a Absolutely. unique and not so ordinary individual right yeah and it's about that individual uniqueness it's about those perspectives that we bring yeah. how we've overcome some of those inherent biases and prejudices not the illegal ones not the dirty right, nasty right. ones that are all over media but just i like chocolate ice cream well maybe I, there's something better than just chocolate ice cream maybe there's apple pie or broccoli you right. know so it's about understanding who we are and why we are the way we are. And it doesn't matter if it took you 10 years or 50 years to get to a certain place that only took someone else two years or six months. Right, exactly. Their journey was different. Absolutely. And they've had their sets of challenges that they've had to overcome. And maybe they might seem insignificant to us, but they're significant to them. Right. So we right. cannot judge ourselves against other people. We have right. to judge ourselves against ourselves Absolutely. and what we've done and what we've Absolutely. overcome. I've got, and, and go ahead. I, I was just going to say that's that is a, a huge uh, again a learning for me is that that you know initially thought that I had to compare myself to other people and, and mm -hmm. that's what 
drove me or forward. buying into their views or perspectives. absolutely that was more important than my own mm-hmm. and, and that's that's now what i say is uh, yeah embrace my you my uniqueness who i am mm-hmm. and 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 where i came from and now that all makes sense but like i say i struggled with that as i was uh going along my journey because mm-hmm. because i wasn't i hadn't defined success for myself i had yeah said that this is very important and it may only be very important to me i still mm-hmm. viewed it as someone else might say it's not a big deal yeah. and that's why i say I, I really struggled with um stepping beyond just being joe yeah. it, again it, even though i know I and i struggle with that too and you and i talk about this offline about right. you know introducing ourselves and you know is it dave or dr dave you know right and right. Um, I, I have to give a nod to one of the people that I have a huge amount of respect for. I'm not going to say the individual's name, but we went to high school together and this person was not necessarily treated the best by other people. It was kind of put down. And that person said, I don't care what you think about me. I'm going to make something of myself. And when I saw that person many years later, that's exactly what they did. They went into the military, they got out, they went into a specific industry and became extremely successful. Right. And I know that indiv- I I know uh, some of the things that individual went through early on in their life, but they did not let them hold that back. They chose right. to use that as a springboard to push them and to motivate them. And this individual inspires me weekly. I see their posts and it's like I'm not saying I agree with 100% of everything they say or what they what their perspectives are. But I have just a huge amount of respect and appreciation because I look back and go, wow, I I bitched and complained about some of the experiences I have had in my life. And they don't even compare to what this individual had to put up with. And then I tell my story to other people and they're like, wow, I don't have anything to bitch or complain about compared to what they went through. Absolutely. It it goes back to that perspective that you talked about with the person in the jet and the car. Yep. Yeah, that that's and that's again. I that's what we I struggled with. It is just the idea that you know my story is unique. Like you say, it may have taken someone uh, or had it worse off than I did, and, mm-hmm. and but that's their journey. That was their uniqueness, and that's what I have to be really comfortable with, which I am now. My mm-hmm. uniqueness, who I am, yeah. and now you know I often refer to myself as a unicorn yeah. because yeah. I know uh, some of the things that I've accomplished are are different. And, yeah. and special and and i view it that way now but like i say i struggled with it just because of you know the environment i grew up in just uh you know the family i grew up in mm-hmm. not not to say anything bad about my family but just uh we were limited on certain things and yeah. so you know most cases we're in survival mode and yeah so that carried on into my adulthood early adult adulthood and you know until like i say recent years until mm-hmm. i really started to do that self-reflection for myself just really yeah. understanding who i am and that's why i'm more comfortable with who i am you know again i think back to high school when i felt speech class and i always mm-hmm. bring that up just because now uh i i talk to people every day for a living in front of large audiences and groups and things like that and i would have never imagined that you know yeah. as that shy kid in high school scared to even say a speech in front of my peers or classmates yeah. And so that's why I say I, I'm going to remember who I am. Mm-hmm. I'm going to continue to, but again, appreciate yeah. the growth that yeah. I've made uh, from that humble beginning, that young shy kid to now who yeah. I am today. Yep, so. exactly. Yep, exactly. And you know, uh, when you when you talk about some of the things that you went through, it, it reminds me. You know, when I was in college, I was, and I have told this story before. You know, I was terrified of math. Not not literally, but figuratively right. terrified. I mean, if I saw the number three, I didn't like turn around and run. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but, uh, y- you know, I, I, I did not want to take college math and I waited till the very end. Those were the last two classes I took. And I taught my, I got the college textbook and I went through it cover to cover and I tried to test out and I didn't pass. I didn't pass the exam to test out of it. I had to take the right. college classes and I was down on myself. And one of my peers walking up the hallway asked me what was going on. And I told them and they're like, well, you did great. And I'm like, they, they, I don't think they heard me the part about me failing the test. (laughs) But then I realized through their lens, what they were saying, it was, I taught myself college math. 
Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a huge accomplishment. And to most people, it's like, it's just, or some people might be like, yeah, big deal. So you taught yourself mad. It's like it, each peer, each person's journey is different, whether it's math right. or engineering or science or, or English or writing or reading or whatever. We all have our challenges that can be overcome if we want to overcome them. Um, one of the staff members that used to work for me um, had a, has a child that has some challenges and she told me i'm raising my child as if they don't have challenges because i don't right. want them to have a bias towards themselves on their limitations and yeah. you know that's a great perspective to have and, maybe, and it doesn't work for everyone but this individual has their story and this is part of their story and part of how they're making the changes in their life and remembering where they came from you right. know, and that's really, again, to bring this full circle, it's about remembering where you came from more than anything and, right. and appreciating your experience. That, that That's a very good point, Dave, you know, remember where you came from, but also um, making those changes to help others. Mm -hmm. And we talk about this, you know, yeah, just share, the, share to, that experience. Absolutely. That, that, you know, that, and, and maybe that's only your own perspective, but mm -hmm. throwing that out there to other people who may be experiencing something like it or similar to it. Um, but, but yeah, that's exactly what we should be doing. You know, that's taking the other side those experiences. Yeah. yeah. Taking those experiences and, and not playing the victim or not, mm -hmm. you know, just wallowing in, okay, well, it was me, but changing that. So this yeah. is the experience I had. And for, and for me and the wife, you know, that was exactly what we wanted for our kids. We didn't want them to have the same experiences, feel the right. same way as we did growing up. So we changed that narrative, yeah. you know, and, and, and that helped them uh, progress further than Absolutely. we did. And, and yeah. they'll continue to progress because that is the environment that we created them for them because we remembered how it was for us and we didn't mm -hmm. want them to have to experience that. Right. So that that's, that's a very good point. You know, with what you said, you're, uh, the person that that changed that narrative for their child yeah uh, that you know that's what everybody else says yeah they're not buying into absolutely. whatever's mainstream they're absolutely. buying into yep. themselves they created themselves. their own narrative their own and, narrative and, and and that's what i love about it. and that's why i said that's what we're trying to do you know even with our podcast offering you different you know experiences exposure to different things just so again that you can make your own informed decision yeah. and so that you know you can hear the things from me and dave or you, you know go do your own research but learn okay that worked for them that may not work for me but i can maybe right. try this or are they already explain kind of what happens if you go down that path i'll try this so it, that's what it's about taking those yeah. things and you know applying them to what's going to make it better for you uh, and, and so that's what we, we say that all the time. That's what this is all about, uh, because we just said, you know, previous episodes, embracing your uniqueness. And, and yeah. I, like I say, now I, I embrace who I am and, and who I might be yeah. um, because I'm open to that possibility. And, yeah. and I'm going to remain open to that possibility. No longer am I, you know, relying on other people to say, hey, you're Joe. Um, yeah. Um, you're, you're Joe you're, and this is your bucket and this is where exactly. you stay. No, I, I don't fit in that bucket. I, I don't yeah. fit in any bucket. I, I'm me. I, I, can I turned the buckets who, upside down and I used them as a right, stepping to stool. To stand on it. Exactly. Yep. That's, a, that's exactly the approach I take now. That's why, you know, when we start talking along this path, I get excited. And, yeah. you know, and that's why, you know, we joked about it, but that's why we keep saying we don't know what we want to be when we grow up. Just because it's not defined yet. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's still... We can change the, it. The, the story, anytime. our stories are still being written. Absolutely. As long we're, as we we're wake writing up them in right the now, as we're sitting here on this podcast, yep, exactly. we're writing that next paragraph, that yep. next sentence. And then that's, yep. that's the beauty of it, that it's, it's not predefined. It's, it's what yep. we make of it. And so I'll end with that. I know. Yeah. We're and you know, Joe, I was time. just going to say <laughs> that I think is one of the best wrap ups we've had, you know, changing your narrative and remembering where you came from and using that to your advantage to help yourself and to help others if the opportunity presents Absolutely. itself. Absolutely. 
Yep. So with that, we'd like to change our, our change. <laughs> we'd like to thank <laughs> our viewers and listeners. We're going to change our viewers and listeners. <laughs> Next channel. Uh, we're going to, we'd like to thank our viewers and listeners uh, for tuning in to another episode of the Journeys of Not So Ordinary People podcast. If you enjoyed this episode or any of our other episodes, like, share, subscribe, and, right. and get the yep. word out there. The more viewers, the, uh, the more people that are following what we do, the more people we can positively impact. And until next time, keep on being your not-so-ordinary you. All right. <laughs>